All right, this lesson is about inscribed angles and circumcenter. Now, this is part one of the lesson, and in part one, we're going to focus on inscribed angles. This is what an inscribed angle looks like. It's an angle whose vertex is on the circle and intercepts an arc of the circle. Now, um, there's a special relationship between an inscribed angle and the intercepted arc. And the relationship is the angle is going to be half the measure of the arc. All right, so if I have a 60 degree arc, that means this would be a 30 degree angle. Okay? Of course, it would work the other way around also. If I told you that I had a 30 degree angle, that would mean it's a 60 degree arc. Notice that's different from what we learned about before. When we had a central angle, the angle and the arc uh, was the same. So if I had a 64 degree angle, the uh, intercepted arc was also 64 degrees. So that's how it works when it's at the center. But if I had an inscribed angle that had the same intercepted arc, the inscribed angle is narrower. In fact, it's going to be half as big. So if the arc is 64 degrees, guess how big the angle will be? 32. Alright, this relationship leads to a very interesting pattern. Because look, um, focus on the angle that is x degrees, the pink angle. Notice it has an intercepted arc of 80. Um, what would be the measure of this pink angle? Yeah, hopefully you can see that the pink angle here would have a measure of 40 degrees. It's an inscribed angle. It's going to be half the arc. Now, switch your eyes and look at the Y, the blue angle. How many degrees is Y? Well, the blue angle is also an inscribed angle with the same 80 degree arc intercepted. So guess what? Um, y is also going to be 40 degrees. All right, they are both the inscribed angles um, intercepting the same arc. So if two things are both half of the same thing, they are going to equal each other. So you see very quickly that x will equal y in a situation like this. Okay, so in general, when you have this sort of, um, you know, like a bow tie maybe or a butterfly, if you turn your head um, crooked a little bit. You can, can you see the butterfly or the bow tie? Um, these uh, angles of the bow tie are always going to be the same. Or these two up here will also be the same because of um, they both intercept this arc down here. Okay, so they'll be the same. So, the angles on the same side of an inscribed bow tie or butterfly will be the same. So keep that in mind as we do this next uh, homework problem. Now let me zoom in for a second to really give you a good look at it. See how we have this sort of a bow tie situation here? Um, what we were just talking about is the fact that angle P and angle Q are going to be the same. And angle S and angle R are going to be the same. Okay? Now, um, in in this problem, we're using the three-letter designation. So when I talk about angle SPR, all right, I'm saying this. Angle SPR. So I'm really talking about this angle, uh, the angle at P. So really, what you want to do is focus your eyes on the middle angle. So we're trying to decide which statement is true. Okay, so you see how it's supposed to be. All right, P and Q, S and R. So look at the middle angle. So here I have P and S. No, that's not it. It's supposed to be P and Q. It's not A. Okay, it's supposed to be P and Q, S and R. So if we look at the middle, all right, here I have Q and P. So let me just double check. So I have, um, I have 
R Q S, all right, that's angle Q, and R P S. So we're saying angle Q and angle P are going to be congruent. And that's true. That's the one that's true. Okay, R and Q, no. It's supposed to be R and S. P and R, no. So that's why the answer is, in fact, B. Okay. Um, look at problem number two. Find the measure of the indicated angle or arc in circle P. Okay, so we're supposed to find the measure of arc ST. So we're supposed to find the measure of this. Okay, so um, here's what you need to know. Looking at this arc that I'm drawing in green right now, all right, this is the arc, the intercepted arc of the 61. So we know that um, if this is 61, this green arc should be double that. So 2 times 61 is 122 degrees. Now, notice that this is a diameter. This is a diameter. That means this entire top half of the circle, of course, is 180 degrees. So if I start with that 180 degrees and I subtract the um, 122, that should leave arc ST. So 180 minus 122. That's 58 degrees. Okay, so that means arc ST must be 58 degrees. So that's the answer to number two. All right, take a look at number three. Now, there's more than one way to do a lot of these problems, so don't worry if you see a different way. Now, we're supposed to find the measure of arc AB. All right, um, arc AB is this arc right here. All right, that's what we're supposed to find the measure of. Now, as I do this problem, uh, Keep in mind the fact that this is a diameter, all right? Which means the entire top half of this circle is 180 degrees. Keep that in mind, okay? Now, um, see this 20 degrees right here? The inscribed angle for that, um, I'm sorry, the, ins the uh, yeah, 20 degrees is an inscribed angle. The intercepted arc is this BC. So if this tiny little angle is 20, um, then that means BC is going to be 40 degrees, all right? Because the arc is double the inscribed angle. But if this is 40 degrees, and I know that I'm looking at a semicircle of 180, how many degrees does that leave for the pink arc AB? You said it. This has to be 140 degrees. All right, technically I'm doing 180 minus 40, but I'm sure you can just do that in your head. 140 plus 40 adds up to 180. And that's what we were supposed to find, the pink arc of AB. All right, let's take a look at number four. Interesting, um, pay attention to the fact that we have some vertical angles here, and vertical angles are always equal. We'll come back to that. Um, we're supposed to find, uh, we are supposed to find the measure of angle JLM. Okay, so that's angle J, L, M. All right, so this is the angle that we're supposed to find. So let's work our way around there. Now, um, keep in mind a couple of things. First of all, you see this angle that's 88. Does that mean that this arc up here is going to be double that? Um, actually, no, because this is not an inscribed angle. This is a central angle. See how it's at the center? 
So a central angle and the arc are the same. So this arc, maybe I'll come up here and draw it. This arc up here is going to be 88. Okay? Because um, these are the same. Now, pay attention to the fact that this is a diameter. All right? Don't forget, this pink angle, this is our target. This is what we're shooting for. But this is a diameter. That means this um, whole half, <laughs> that sounds silly, this half of the circle is 180 degrees. So far, we've got 88. So we should be able to know what this piece is over here. Should we not? So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, nail that down. So this piece right here, we should be able to subtract from 180. So let's do that. If I do 180 minus 88, um, what's that, 92, I believe? Yeah, so that's going to be 92. Now remember, our goal was to find this angle right here. Um, now this is an inscribed angle. So this angle should be half of the arc. So 92, you say, well, what's 92 divided by 2? 46. So that means this should be 46 six degrees. So that's the answer. 46 degrees. Okay, let's take a look at number five. So these are like little puzzles, all right? They're kind of fun if you look at them the right way. Angle A. So I always like to draw in pink the thing that we're shooting for. So here's angle A. This is our target. All right, so this is a quick, easy little puzzle. Notice that this long arm here is a diameter. That means, once again, this half of the circle is 180 degrees. So I have the 54, so I should be able to figure out what this is by subtracting from 180. So 180 minus 54 should give me uh, arc BC. So that's 126. Okay, so this is 126 degrees. Okay, this arc out here. Okay, I'm talking about this purple arc. But that arc is double uh, the inscribed angle. So if I take half of this, that should be my answer. Um, so this is going to, well, half of 120 is 60, and half of 6 is 3, so 63. Okay, so angle A is 63 degrees. All right, that's number 5. Let's take a look at number 6. Ah, oh, it's one of those bow tie problems. Well, we don't even have to do anything. We see um, an inscribed bow tie, so we know that angle L and angle K are going to be congruent. So if angle L is 28 degrees, that means angle K is also going to be 28 degrees. Okay, quick and easy. How about number 7? Okay, a little bit more going on. Let me color our target. Arc VST. So this is what we're trying to find. Arc V S T. All right, that is our target. Now, um, what do we have so far? Well, I'll tell you what we have so far. Um, see this 51 right here? See that? Maybe I'll just do it as a nice little arc. All right, this is an inscribed angle. 
So I should be able to use it to find the intercepted arc. Now remember, the arc is going to be double the angle. So let's see, double 50 is 100. So double 51 is 102. So this will be 102 degrees out here. Now, do you see how I have every part of the circle except for um, actually I guess do I even need the 39 degrees VST I put this little dot here but I don't think that even matters I don't think I even need that dot whoa we are trying to find the pink part um, but we know the blue part 135 degrees and now we know the purple part which is 102 degrees so I don't think we even care about this 39 we could scribble that out All right we just don't care about it so we know that the entire circle is uh, 180 degrees so if I take my 180 degrees and I subtract the blue part okay minus 135 and I subtract the purple part minus 102 shouldn't that leave the pink part okay the whole thing minus the blue minus the purple that should leave the pink part so let's do that 180 minus 135 minus 102 okay so 180 I mean, not 180. <laughs> I was going to say, that didn't make a lot of sense. I meant, all right, the whole, we're, we're not dealing with semicircle, silly Burton. We are dealing with the whole circle. So not 180, 360. So 360 minus 135 minus 102. Notice how you can just type it all in a row. That leaves 1, 2, 3, 123 degrees for the pink part. Okay, 123 degrees. All right, that is the measure of arc VST. That was number seven. All right, so that's the end of that little section of the work. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. I will start part two of the video with this next little section that has a this crazy picture to go with it. I will see you on the next video.